Hello, good people, and welcome to Finance Girls Hub. Here, we learn, we connect, and we grow. In this short video, we are going to learn how to import data from a PDF bank statement. We'll learn how to use Power Query to clean and transform this data and dump it in Excel for further analysis. If you are game, join me in Excel and let's go through this together. So this is my sample bank statement. This is a typical structure. I have my dates, the transactions here, debit, credit, and balance. If I want to have this in Excel, typically I want to copy, as I've done here, Control C, I come to Excel and I paste. Now there's a result which doesn't really look good. A better way to do this is to go to data, okay, and in the leftmost part of the ribbon, you see get and transform data. So this is Power Query. You can use Power Query to connect to any form of data, be PDF, online, workbook, folders. For this purpose, in a recent version of Excel, you should be able to connect this to a PDF. And so that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to connect this to a PDF and I'm going to direct it to where my PDF file is. So this is my PDF file. I'll choose import. What is going to happen is that it's going to take this and load it into Power Query. I'm greeted with this dialog box, which gives me a preview of the content of my PDF. So usually if you have a lot of tables, you see a lot of tables here. You also have an optional page view, which brings the tabler view and other elements of your PDF. So for this purpose, if you preview and what you are looking for is displayed, then you can proceed with that selection. So I have this, which is good enough. I'm going to choose transform data to do some cleaning on this data. I choose transform data. It takes a while and then I now I'm able to see the data in my Power Query. So this is how my data looks like. So I have my dates here, I have my transaction here, description, my debit and credit. So at a glance, you realize that there's some work to be done here. Now, the first thing you're noticing here is my dates are sitting aligned to the left. Ideally, dates should be sitting on the right. So we need to change the data type for each of these columns here to agree with what we want. Now, if you look in the top left corner, it's reading ABC. You click here and then you convert it to the data type that you want. So I'm going to click and then change this to a date. It will prompt me that am I going to replace the step or I want it to add a new step in the transformation. The idea is that when you bring in data, Power Query already executes some automatic steps to clean the data. Okay, so when you are adding a new step, you decide whether you want it as a new step or want to replace one of the automatic steps that it executed earlier. So for this purpose, we want to replace this. So I'll choose replace step and I get an error. Now, let me explain why I got this error. My Windows setting for dates reads month, day, year. In this PDF statement, the dates came in as day, month, year. So if I force my Windows setting on this, it's not able to interpret it well. And that's why I get an error. So let's step back and see whether we can get this to convert to month, day, year. So if you have a situation like this, and because this, these two columns are the same, I'm going to apply it to these two. What we are going to do is we come here and instead of choosing a date directly, we we'll go to using local. It allows you to choose a specific date format for this transformation. So I'm going to so I have this dialog box pop up and I'm going to choose the data type as date. Okay. And as I said earlier, my setting is English United States. So to agree with this, I'm going to drop this down and change this to English United Kingdom. I get a preview that DMY day month year agrees with this and I'll click OK. Okay, so this is what I have here. I'm going to take this quickly. I'll do same for this one using local. So again, it pops up and then I have my date here. And then I'm going to change this to 
English United Kingdom. Okay, so now these dates are okay. Transactions, this text is fine. Now, anytime you preview column in Power Query and you have some gaps in the green fill, well, if you go to view, okay, and you look at column quality, you get a preview of what you need to work on in your column. Okay, so for this, we need to make sure the numbers here sit to the right and also convert the null values to zero. Okay, so I'm going to select the credits and also the balance here and also the debit. These are my number columns. Now you observe that if you look at the balances here, there's a space between the one and zero. This will not be okay. So what we are supposed to do first is to highlight, replace values. Okay, the gap there with nothing. So value to find is a gap. I replace it with nothing on this so that's that is resolved and next thing i'm going to do is to right click and replace the null values so n u l l again with zero so i get my numbers to work with and then finally i'm going to change these to whole number so change this to a whole number change this to a whole number and then finally change this the whole number so power query allows you to do some cleaning and the idea is that when you do this cleaning once you don't have to do them again if you connect to subsequent bank statements that has the same structure it will pick these transformations and execute them automatically when you click refresh so we are done and what we are going to do here is to dump our work to excel i'll come to home close and load to there are various options here. I can dump this as a table, as a pivot table report, pivot chart. For this purpose, we add, we dump it as a table. So I'll click OK. And then this is my final output. So when it comes out like this, I can even highlight this Control Shift 3 and I get a proper date format. Now, let's see what happens when we add September's data to this. So here, the earlier transaction that I worked on was this one that gave me only August. Okay, and here I've been able to dump this into Excel. We observe that the last entry here is 31st August. Now, I have August to September. So when I open this, you realize that it includes my August and then some September data as well. And I want to add this as well. So as long as I'm able to maintain this name, okay, so I'm going to replace this name, so Finest Bank. And because this data already has August to September, I could, let's say, delete this and then name this finance bank now the reason i'm doing this is when we connected this earlier this is the name that went into the power query so as long as we have a cumulative statement it includes august and september this works fine otherwise you could also connect power query to a folder and you're able to consolidate all the different months so i now have this now let's go and see what power query will do so i'll come to my data and then i'll come to refresh all if I do refresh all, you realize that the same process that we went through earlier has been executed and I now have September adding on to August. So Power Query is a very powerful tool that allows you to connect to many data sources, not just PDF. You can use it to connect to a folder as I explained earlier. The whole idea is that whatever you do, you're able to execute subsequent ones without going through the same process this practice and add it to your list of Excel tricks. For more of these short videos, you can join our WhatsApp broadcast list. We send videos directly to you. Send add to this WhatsApp number. All our old videos are on our YouTube channel, Finder Skills Up. Please visit and subscribe for notification of new videos or connect with us on any of these social media handles. Thank you so much for watching.